Hey guys, welcome back to L&D Home. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are gonna be doing some cleaning, but we are not at our house today. We are actually at my aunt's house and we are going to be helping her tackle her fridge. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're working with and then we will clean and chat throughout today's video. So here is my aunt's fridge. <laughs> and basically it's, it's not like awful, <laughs> but I do just want to kind of declutter some things, things that maybe have gone bad or expired and then definitely do some cleaning inside of some of these drawers and containers and things. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I don't think we'll have to do much with the, the freezer looks, looks pretty good. So we are just gonna be focused mainly on this part. If I want to do anything with the freezer, I will, but we're gonna go ahead and get rolling. I did wanna share just a tad bit of a backstory about why I am cleaning this fridge for my aunt. I don't wanna to share too much because, well, it's her personal business, not anyone else's, but she is unable to really get in there and deep clean the fridge, and she's also unable to reach the top shelf because she is in a wheelchair. So it's really hard for her to kind of do these deep cleaning and decluttering things and hard for her to kind of get around. So I noticed that the fridge... Um, <laughs> Could use a little bit of love so I offered to come over and clean the fridge for her. So without sharing too much information about life that is not mine, <laughs> that is why I am cleaning my aunt's fridge today. Since um, nothing will be on the top, I did let this sit. There was some really, really gross stuff stuck back on the top there. And you will notice as I put things back into the fridge, I am not putting anything at all on this top shelf except for like the baking soda that is going to help the fridge um, stay fresh and smell fresh. Now I did try this toothbrush. It did not work. <laughs> so I sprayed some more of my cleaning solution, which is just dish soap, water, and vinegar on that spot and let it sit. One thing I also used was a plastic knife that I found laying around. So it just goes to show you that you don't have to have a bunch of cleaning tools to deep clean your space. You can definitely use what you have on hand to help you out. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? Since I have never cleaned anyone else's fridge before and reorganized it, I did struggle a little bit with this project because I didn't want to throw anything away that my aunt may want to, want to have kept, but I also wanted to make sure that she was safe and she was only eating foods that were good and nothing was expired. So I worked in sections, a little shelf at a time. I would take everything off and decide if it was worthy of keeping and it was still fresh or if it was expired, and then I would clean that area off. So a tip if you are cleaning a home that is not yours or maybe you just have no idea where to start in your own fridge or your own space is go bit by bit and just do a little part at a time so it feels a little bit less overwhelming. Sweetness could reach everyone, there be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will. A tip to organize your fridge on a budget is to use Tupperware containers to make sections and groups of things. Now, my aunt has a ton of Tupperware containers. Maybe I'll be tackling this cabinet at a later date. <laughs> um, but I just pulled some down so that I could use some of those to kind of group some things together. So she could easily pull out that Tupperware container and go ahead and grab what she needed out of it and then put it back. So you do not have to go out and spend a bunch of money on organizing bins. You can always find something in your home and use what you have if you are on a budget. Your joy to the ones who lost their hope. After 
letting that spot sit for a while, I was able to use my toothbrush and some paper towels and a rag to get all of that spot nice and clean. Like I said, I'm tackling in sections, so I'm just taking things out and you are going to see <laughs> some craziness coming up here with those peppers that you just saw me pull out of this section. And if you are wondering why I am not taking all the shelves and the drawers and stuff out, for one, maybe your mobility doesn't allow you to do that. Maybe you just don't have the means to do that. But also, if you have a really small sink, it's hard to clean these big shelves and big drawers. So my aunt actually has a pretty small sink, and it's kind of like a two-compartment sink. So it, I felt it was going to be really hard to get those big drawers in there and the shelves and maneuver around. She also had some um, clean dishes drying on the left side of her sink, and I didn't want to disturb any of that because she was leaving it to dry. So you do not have to completely take your entire fridge apart to do a decent deep clean um, and like take every drawer and every shelf out and clean it off in the sink. You can definitely do a decent deep clean, just leaving everything exactly where it is. You fill my head with roses. I can't help but dream. With you and flowers everywhere mm -hmm. Maybe there is a star This was the spot that was probably the grossest and had the most stuck on stuff. So I did let this sit. I tried to vacuum out as much as I could and then I sprayed it down with my cleaning solution and I let it sit while I moved on to other areas of the fridge. If you have a tough spot, put some cleaning solution on it and just let it marinate. Let that cleaning solution do its job. There's no sense in breaking your back trying to clean it right away. Now these peppers, let's talk about these peppers. I was looking at them and I noticed that this one just didn't look right and there we go. Um, exactly why I came to clean her fridge today. So here's what we have throwing away so far. <laughs> Besides some of the really nasty things I've already shown you, like that pepper, <laughs> um, just some things that are like, you know, recently expired, but some things that are like way expired, like this ketchup. Um, March, oh, you're not gonna be able to see it, are you? March 28th, 2022. So I just want to make sure she is safe and like even look at it. Oh, um, I just want to make sure she's safe and she's not eating anything that is going to harm her. So all of this stuff is um, expired and will be thrown away. I will be dumping this and cleaning that out and everything else is going in the trash can, which conveniently for me is right here. <laughs> One thing I know is that there should be, there is no one who has a heart pure no not like yours mm -hmm. so i also found this and i will not take the lid off because i'm scared let me see if i can show you if i turn the light off can you see that these are pineapples I'm not opening this. <laughs> I'm putting this straight into, like you can see right there. It's going straight into the trash, container and all. Dreaming of you, dreaming of you, dreaming of you. It really helped me to kind of organize each individual space based on kind of what she already had in that space. I didn't want to completely change everything for her, so she had no idea where any of her stuff was. I just wanted to make sure everything was clean and it was a little bit more organized so she could really see what she has. After letting that solution soak for quite a while, I finally got that one piece off and then I used that plastic knife to scrape any of the gross stuff off and then I was able to just simply clean everything up with some paper towels. Now it did take me quite a few paper towels, but letting that solution sit really, really helped and the drawer looks absolutely brand new after I am done cleaning it. Dreaming of you. What if the wind could spread your love? 
What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. try to give you guys an update in a future video on if she liked some of her stuff decanted like I took her little cheeses out and put them in here if she liked the kind of like Tupperware system um, she did already tell me that it was absolutely beautiful she said it looks brand new like it has never been touched before like the day that we bought it so <laughs> she's very happy with the fridge clean out but we'll see how the organization works for her over time I will check in with her and see how she's liking it and then some future video if I remember I will update you guys on how she is enjoying the organization. It is time for us to move on to the doors and I redid this probably like four times. You can see little doggy in the background there. His name is Pax and he is staring at the door. He's waiting for her to get home. She was actually not home um, at this moment when I was doing this. So he's just staring at the door <laughs> waiting for my aunt to come home. But I actually redid these doors several times. Um, because I just was not sure. There was a lot of condiments. I didn't realize there was so many. So that container I put condiments in, um, in the main part of the fridge is actually going to be coming out because all the condiments are going to go on the door. But that is just another kind of, not warning, but just tip for you is don't get frustrated if you have to redo the organization several times while you're organizing and then just later. There are a lot of things where I'll organize and I absolutely love it and then it just doesn't function quite perfectly for me. So I have to tweak it over time. And that is perfectly okay. You don't know how you want something organized until really you have tried it and you have lived in it. So you do have to change things sometimes. So don't become frustrated with yourself. If you're organizing and it's just not turning out right, just take a turn. Try a different way of organizing or maybe live with it for a little bit and then see what it isn't working for you so you can make a change that is going to function better for you and your family. They were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together ooh One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper Started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche and here we have the final reveal. Everything is so sparkling and clean and the organization is going to work so much better for her. Like I said, she's already commented on how amazing everything looked and I'm hoping it will function really well for her and she will be able to reach all of the things that she needs. Also, I did leave some open space as you can see in between things so she can kind of grow with it a little bit as she gets some groceries. It only took me about an hour to complete this entire project, organizing, cleaning, and all. So if you are nervous to tackle a space in your house, don't be. Go ahead and tackle it. I promise it will be absolutely worth it in the end. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful and entertaining. Make sure you check out the video and the playlist on the screen. And as always... 
smash that subscribe button so you can become part of our YouTube family. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.